Okay, hi fifth grade. I'm very sorry about our technical difficulties today, but that's quite all right. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to talk again about how to create your sweater. And then you have the rest of the time, you have actually the rest of the week to go ahead and fill it in and get ready for next week when we add you digitally to it. Okay, so here's what I want you to do towards the top of your paper and I'll totally outline with my marker as I go so you can see it a little better. I want you to create a little curve. It's like a little smiley face almost. Okay, not too big. Just a little bit. I can even come here if I decide, oh, I don't like how I did that. I can erase it, start again. It's okay if you see part of my pencil lines, you can outline later. Okay, great, little curve. Now, you've gotta create your shoulders, okay? So what you're gonna to wanna to do is create a little bit of a hump on both sides. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna add a little hump, little hump, okay? Then what I'm gonna to wanna to do is from the end of my hump for my shoulders, I'm going to want to draw a straight line down. Okay, and go ahead and do that on the other side as well. Okay, now remember, the next step is that you've gotta create the inside of your sleeve. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is create a parallel line, which means that they run in the same direction, right? They're not intersecting, they don't touch, they don't cross. So it's going to be the inside of your sleeve. I would say probably start at maybe about two fingers down from the top of your collar. Okay, so come here. Create that parallel line, beautiful. And now on the other side, go ahead and create that parallel line. Okay, now you have your sleeves, but guess what? You gotta go ahead and you gotta connect them. So you're just going to come down here and from point A to point B, you will draw your line to fill it in. And same on this side, fabulous. Okie doke friends. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you gotta create the body of your sweater. All right, so you're gonna come over, first starting here, you're gonna start at this point, bring it down, straight line. So right about maybe here, okay? And grab on this side, and again, bring it down. All right, now what do you think you gotta do? That's right, connect from here to here. So point A to point B. Can you believe I'm bringing math terms in here today? Parallel lines, points, oh my gosh. All right, so here's your sweater, okie doke. Maybe yours is a little bit bigger on your paper, maybe it's a little bit smaller, that's okay. Again, we'll add ourselves digitally next week and I'll show you how to do that. So now here's what I was talking about on our live meeting is that you can always go in and you can add a collar. So, or not collar, excuse me, you can add cuffs and then you can also add in the collar. So if you want, you could come down onto your sleeves. You could either add it below, okay? Or you can go on, depending on how long your sleeves are, you can add it above. So if you're adding it, I'll show you below. You can just draw a little rectangle that goes underneath your shape. Again, draw a little rectangle goes underneath your shape. All right, and then here, you can go ahead, if you don't wanna draw below, I'll show you how you can draw above, just draw a horizontal line. Oh my goodness, cute. Now, here's what we can also do, all right, is for our collar, we can draw, maybe starting, either you can go above like that, or you can go below. I'm actually gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start above, since I have a pretty wide collar, so I would just draw my line to start right above on my shoulders and cross over, beautiful. Again, if you wanted to do it below, just simply draw another little curve. Okay, wonderful, there is your sweater. Again, um, I could go through, I actually think you guys can see this pretty well, so I won't necessarily cover with marker, but here was my example from earlier on our live before it timed out. So what you can do now is just fill it in however you would like. So for instance, maybe you want to do the sleeves as one pattern, all right? Maybe you wanna have a certain pattern that's on the front. It doesn't necessarily have to be holiday related. It could be however you want it to be. So if I wanna come here, maybe I'm gonna make mine actually cat related. I just rescued a new cat. So, you know, I got kitty on my mind. So maybe on one side of my sweater, I could have the tail. And then maybe over on this side, I could add in the paws just look a little silly that's okay all right this is mine you definitely do not have to do this I'm just showing you how you can do different designs on the front opposed to the sides all right so maybe on the sides here I'm gonna add paw prints all right but actually maybe because I'm doing a cat maybe I would want to add in like a little fish too you know so I could come in here and maybe add that. And I could carry on that pattern all the way up. All right, now maybe you do wanna add in something that's a little bit Christmas related. So let's just say if I added 
the head of my cat here. And maybe these are the eyes, so you only see part of it. Okay, maybe I want to add here a little Santa hat if I wanted to make it holiday related. And I'll put my ears on the side. I'll clean that up a little bit later. Oh my goodness, silly, silly, silly. So again, just go through, make sure you fill it in. You can start coloring it in. Next week, we're gonna add you wearing your sweater digitally. Okay, fifth grade, please let me know if you have any questions.